was like, that looks like each lantern would have to kill 10,000 people to get to 100%. And then you read, like, a, a tie-in issue, because there's, like, the main thing, and then there's, like, all these, like, splinter things that come mm-hmm. off from it. You read a tie-in one, you're like, oh, it's not that each ring goes up, it's that collectively they all go up a power level with each death. So that means they're trying uh, to kill 10,000 people total, and whenever they did, something bad's going to happen, because they're okay. going to be 100%. So with each death, you're like, where are they at? Right. How many people to go? Okay, I got you. So and it's going for eight months. So it's not like Green Ant Lantern A has to get 10,000 kills. It can be Green Lantern A, B, C. B, C, all of them, and it's combined for it. Okay. I was like, that looks that badass. pretty cool. And uh, with each issue, they're giving out free rings with it. Pretty cool little things. So yes, this Saturday, um, we're going to have to stop for 2CW's free show. Wow, segue. Yes. We're going to have to stop for 2CW show so I can go to the comic book store at Carousel Mall, play the game, read the story. Fantastic store. I wish I lived in Syracuse so I could buy my shit there every week. And uh, they're going to have whatever the next color is for issue two. Speaking of Saturday. Speaking of Saturday, Saturday, Saturday at the Chicken Wing Festival, which we got to look and see what else is going on there. Um, You know who's playing there? Who? Blue, Blue Oyster Cult. Well, they're from here. Right, but they're playing at the Chicken Wing. Oh, that's cool. So you'll be hearing, um, the hell's that song? Okay. Godzilla. No. And uh, Don't Fear the Reaper. Seasons Don't Fear the Reaper. So, Syracuse, New York is going to have the Great American Chicken Wing Festival or something like that this Saturday, which is... I think it's Salmonella. The um, 15th. The 15th. So they're having the Chicken Wing Festival. If you go to the Chicken Wing Festival, which I gotta guess there's like a five dollar walk in the door thing for no, it or something. No, not last year nothing. You just walk it's in. Totally free. Do you it's, eat the wings for free or do you pay for the wings? I'm when sure you, get you there? pay for the wings. You can get like okay. a sample or something. But we went last year and think of it like being in like Thompson Park or something. You just walk in. They or, or Central Park for our more more erudite right, viewers. Right. Okay. For like so it's like you just walk in Central Park. There's a bunch of shit going on. You can watch it all for Except free, or you can pay like, for some stuff. If like you here's want. the thing, okay? Now, so is Blue Oyster Cult free? Blue Oyster, I I presume so. You could I we could hear who was ever playing last year from the oh cool. From, okay, so here's it's kind of looks like this, and then there's like a little pier off to the edge, and then on the pier here is where the two CW show is. So it's on kind of like a big pier. So it's against water too. Yes. We were talking last year about... Now, are they going to throw him in, much like the Rey Mysterio-Rick Flair match from WCW Nitro? I don't think so. In which freaking Mysterio should have won the title. That was a great match. He should have won that title that night. Flair's dropped it to worse. Fucking Tommy Rich is a former NWA champion. Tommy Rich. Wow. Wild player? Yeah. AWA. So, was he in AWA too? I'm pretty sure he was. I mean, remember his ECW run where I was like, who the hell are you? I loved watching AWA on ESPN Classics. I strongly Great. recommend it. Great. And UWF on the weekends, I'm which is terrible, but it's fun to watch. AWA. My friend, AWA is good. my friend and I, we'd call up each other. We'd have school the next day and be on at midnight. We'd call up each other just so we could do a mullet count. And then we'd talk during the For the, the wrestlers show. or the crowd? Everybody, Both. <laughs> everybody. There would be like 17 mullets by the end of the show. It was awful. So... All right, Where what's our so what's our main event for two CW? Our main event for two CW free show CW. wrestling. Free show, yeah, two CW squared circle wrestling chicken out of wings. Syracuse. Two C chicken wings, which are always good. Two CW wrestling dot com, phenomenal site. Come out and support. They got shows coming up later this year. The one in Syracuse this weekend, Watertown, New York. Uh, another in Syracuse. We got Massachusetts is back on. I don't know about Massachusetts yet. I know that they're going to um Bing Binghamton. Binghamton, Utica. Utica is I believe Utica's a go. Okay, yep. and there's one more, right? I think that's it for now. All right. But they got, you go to site, uh, all the shows for the rest of the now, year. Now, their website the isn't, their wrestler section or anything isn't, like, updated very heavily. So if you want, like, a little... Just go main page and go to the message board. Right. If you want, like, a little, not a recap of sorts, but, like, they have Brody Lee. Um, Claudio Cass. Claudio's coming in. The, Claudio's coming in in two weeks. Slick Wagner's Brody wrestled on, like, every show. Yep, uh, a couple girls from Shimmer, like Portia Perez That's comes in, Sarah Del Rey, uh, Roxy's a frequent one, Roxy from TNA Wrestling. For those of you Sparks, <clears throat> Up in Smoke, Cheech and Cloudy are their tag team champions right now. Yep. Um, we got uh, Kevin Steen and El Generico last Kevin show, Delirio showed up, there's always good people. Always. Your homegrown talents, phenomenal, our boy Jay Freddy, who you'll be seeing here soon on Team Hellion show. Representing uh, Watertown in a couple yeah, of weeks. Yes, indeed. We'll uh, Isis Effects yep. is, is so good, Loca Vida. Uh, JD Love is uh, a good heel and that you hate him. Um, I won't say he's a good wrestler, but he's a very good heel. And Jimmy Olsen. 
Jimmy Jam Olsen. Jimmy Jam Olsen. And of course, representing our, and of course our champion. Jason X. Jason X. Main event, Jason X. Which will lead a segue into the main event, which is main event Jason X defending the 2CW two, two World Heavyweight title against Isis of X. You don't say World Heavyweight title. I do nitpick on CW Heavyweight. I'm sorry. Yes. I don't I don't like to say World either because obviously he's not the World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah. It's just the 2CW Heavyweight Champion. I agree with you on that. You're right. Yeah. But I, I, it should be a phenomenal match. And if you notice, uh, the Wartown show just says, title to be defended. Which I have noted. And I'm thinking something's going to I'm hoping on. title change. No, not necessarily as his facts, although he does deserve it. But it could be, well, you know, they've running had, and they've number had things. That. They've had that. It's kind of like an ECW type of... Honestly, it's kind of like Sham Wow. It'll have you saying Wow every time. It really is. Now, will it go to two CW and beat up a hooker? Maybe. Will Will Not it be be? Will, we saw Sonny. Sonny. We saw Sonny. Hooker. We did see Sonny. Now, um, is it more like Vince from Sham Wow, or is it like Billy Mays? Am I gonna go to two CW and start having a terrible coke habit? Kind of, because you get addicted to it. I do get addicted to. to Two CW. You. I've brought shows. My my wonderful girlfriend had never been to wrestling before. She went to Two CW, not knowing anyone, not knowing a single wrestler is going to be on show. It's like, when's the next one? I will be there. That's my friends. We went in February to Oswego. Told them I go. They didn't like wrestling. They go. I go. By the end of the show, you'll be chanting East uh, Two CW. Yes. Not ECW. What the hell am I thinking? Two CW. And you want to come back? Sure. Went to the next five shows after that. I mean, it's just cat. It's catchy. That's what I like. About it's it. good. It is good. It's just good. It starts off small. You get you into it. Maybe a comedy match. Maybe like, you know, something with cool little spots get you going. By then night, you're like, this is incredibly well booked. Last, I've been so excited. Last uh, last year when we went to the show, they had um, I believe it was Slick defended his title against Eddie Edwards. Main event was um, Scotty Too Hotty versus somebody. I forget who it was. Scotty was on the card. Blue Meanie was on the card. Blue Meanie was a surprise for that, wasn't he? Blue Meanie? Or was he a surprise for Living on the Edge? I believe he was a surprise for not Living on the Edge. I don't know if it was a chicken wing prize. It was a couple years ago. Yeah. Remember who the surprise was this year? Al Snow. Al Snow. Al Snow and Sunday in Syracuse. And Sunny. And next year is going to be three nights. Three nights, I know. If they make it that far. They will. I'm just saying. We don't recognize Team Binghamton. To educate our fans. We don't recognize him. Who's team being I'll tell you later. I talked to Jay Freddy about it. Okay. So yes, coming up soon here on Team Hellion Show, we're going to interview 2CW future world. I did it myself. Future Bam. champion, future heavyweight champion, Jay Freddy. We're going to talk about wrestling, talk about his career, talk about being a mark and then doing it himself. And that's marking out for him. Right. If he wins belt, I'm going to cry. Really? Yes. Why? Yes. Because someone from Wartown accomplished something. Okay, listen. I want Jay Freddy to win just as much as you, if not more. I'm not going to cry for that. Yes. Guy. Yes, I will. He will have accomplished more than other Watertown celebrity Richard Grieco. Who? Oh. Exactly. I thought I always thought that was the guy from Cheaters. No. That's Greco, though, I think. No, Richard Grieco was on a show on Fox when Fox first started out, and Fox was kind of a joke. And people were like, we don't need a fourth network. That's stupid. And then Fox provided us with Simpsons and Married with Children and, you know. It's American Idol. Yeah, and uh, increasing um, sports on television and yeah, adding effects true. and yeah. some money to it and all. So, Fox had a little show called 21 Jump Street. It was uh, a bunch of police officers that looked really young and, of course, pretty, that uh, integrated themselves in with high school kids and all, so they could solve crimes and deal with all that stuff. Everyone looked pretty, but it was a cop show. Johnny Depp's first major work. Okay, he was on it. His partner was a guy called Richard Grieco, who lived in Watertown. Grew, went to school here, grew up here, his family's still here, so he became famous. Hey, our boy's on a nationally syndicated show with this kid, Johnny Depp, who looks like he might make something of himself. Hmm. Johnny Depp went on to become Johnny Depp. Richard Grieco went on to straight to DVD movies. His biggest accomplishment is for a while he was dating Yasmin Bleeth. I don't know who that is either. Baywatch. Okay. okay. Hot Brunette on, Bra on Baywatch. He brought Yasmin Bleeth to Watertown to meet his family while they were dating. So Yasmin Bleeth, star of Baywatch, the biggest show in the world at the time, was wandering through our local mall. And everyone went to her and said, who the fuck is this guy you're with? <laughs> not only is he a celebrity, somewhat, not only is he from the hometown, no one recognized him on either part. That's 